Let's begin by filling this glass container with some water. Now what you want to do is take the water and put it in the microwave. You want to heat the water for about Ten minutes and 27 seconds. Now what's happening inside this microwave is quite interesting. The magnetron inside the microwave is emitting microwaves, thus in turn heating the water. So the microwaves is a form of RF radiation, that's radio frequency. The microwaves in turn cause water molecules to vibrate at a specific frequency, and that frequency heats up the water through friction. Now what you see here is wood ash. Now the ashes I'm going to put inside of this container. Just pour it in. I'm going to take the hot water and add it to the wood ash. From here, I'm going to stir the sludge around. This is what we have in here. Look really closely. Just want to stir this around. You want to add your sludge that we created to a beaker. I'm going to take our mixture, put it on this hot plate, and let it come to a boil. We want this solution to boil. I'm going to take the solution off the hot plate and let it stand. Now from here, I'm going to filter the mixture. Now what you see here is a very crude solution of potassium hydroxide, or we can also call it lye water. Let me test the pH. As you can see, the pH paper indicates high alkalinity. What I'm going to do is add this lye solution, or lye water, to the one that I previously made earlier today. I'm going to seal the jar, and this is the final yield of our lye solution containing potassium hydroxide. I add approximately three milliliters of the lye solution to the test tube. Now to the liquid, I'm going to add a piece of aluminum foil. Now the aluminum foil is going to react with the potassium hydroxide. As you look really closely, you can see there's a chemical reaction taking place on a minuscule level, but the aluminum uh, is reacting with the potassium hydroxide to create aluminum hydroxide. If you look very closely, there's some white precipitate 
near the very top and that white precipitate is the aluminum hydroxide And as always, thanks for watching.